right, it's fox hunt day. I am on my way. I've just left the club rooms. We've uh, we've had a bit of a, a QRP fox hunt. So what I've done is uh, we had a little bionics fox which we've been searching for in the uh, in the grounds around the clubhouse, and I've got some uh, some interesting footage of that. Probably somewhere around here, not where they are. Right, uh, right, right, right off in that direction somewhere. <laughs> where, where, where is he? There he is. He's down there. You've detuned it. Oh, you made it shorter. For those that are not familiar with what fox hunting is, um, so basically it's a hidden transmitter and we use direction finding antennas, um, usually tape measure Yagi's, they're the most popular. You can Google um, tape measure Yagi if you want to know how to build one of those, but um, we use yeah tape measure Yagi's to uh, direction find, um, hone our skills to find that hidden transmitter um, and then when you get closer to it you need to switch in attenuation um, to reduce the signal even further um, so that you can you know you can hear it um, uh, you know because otherwise it gets too strong uh, the closer that you get to it and then eventually the, the the last part which is a skill in itself which you know it's not it, it is something to think about is you've actually got to physically spot the fox so sometimes it's you got to look for clues and think about how how will this be hidden or whereabouts this will be hidden like we had uh, we just had Justin 7 VK7 TW he hid the little micro fox and he put it uh, behind the, well the first time he hid it behind a tree limb and he used some green and yellow electrical tape which was <laughs> which was the first thing that we spotted i'm trying to use my body as a detune unplug the um unplug the antenna I, I get nothing when i unplug it okay now the other thing you can do is yeah just hold the bnc in but not all the way in just to it like that and you're probably better off to you could have, have your antenna if you, back yeah, out. if you have your antenna out, and then that way you've got a little bit of variable attenuation. It's hard too, because that's probably a good receiver as well. <laughs> yeah, he did say it was a really good receiver. It's been hidden, we found it once. Let's try again. Can't hear it anywhere. So what I've done is I've just got my Baofeng squelch and I go into the menu and just select that menu. to zero. I don't know, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I thought one of these buttons actually turned off the squelch, but turn that to zero. Confirm. And that opens up the squelch, which makes it a whole lot easier to find when the fox is, is weak. Oh, I heard it there. Now, I've got no attenuation in. Oh. So this direction at least. So that's 30 dB of attenuation in now. It still says it's this direction. Just put in 50. It's getting pretty strong. No, it's definitely this direction. It's got to be here somewhere. So no, no one's found it yet. No. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, I think Ron might have found it. Ron's found it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just know you're sneaky, that's why. <laughs> It's in plain sight. It's in plain sight. Where, where is it? It's got to be around here somewhere. I keep thinking it's in this bush, but <laughs> it's the wrong colour. <laughs> Lee, AK7LEE, ended up finding it. And just a little tip if you are uh, in the midst of other hunters, don't shout out that you found it. <laughs> It's up there! They weren't meant, meant to yell it out. <laughs> Good one! Sorry! Because <laughs> some others haven't found it yet, but... No, good on you, Lee. Um, good stuff. We're uh, we're having fun here. That's why. That's wrong to her. <laughs> that's why it was messing us up because you had the metal sign. Correct. Yeah. Oh. It stood on that side of the sign, and then it was weak, and then this side. On this side, it's really strong. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> So, Lee was just so excited <laughs> to find it. <laughs> I can't, it was the first time. I love it. You know everybody else found it without saying anything, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty challenging because the Fox is only 15 milliwatts. Um, not a lot of power, so it can be difficult to at first find it. And then when you get close to it, because it is running so much power, it's even harder to find. So. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was a challenge, but I'm on my way now to hide the well QRO Fox. It's not really QRO; it runs one watt, but uh, in comparison to the other one, definitely. I'm going to be hiding it in a place that we call called um, Kangaroo Kangaroo Bluff. So it's going to be um, challenging, I think, to find for some of them. Jeez, this is taking a while. I shouldn't have come out this intersection. This is ridiculous. She's, uh, she's busy road today. It's a bit of a thrill actually uh, being the fox. You get to think of weird and wonderful locations to hide it. Um, I know you get a lot of fun in trying to find them, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see if anyone's going to find where I'm hiding it. Oh, so while we've been hunting this morning as well, I got a notification to say that I've just passed 20,000 YouTube subscribers. So um, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I think there was about six or seven to go and uh and then within the space of an hour it was already up to twenty thousand. so thank you everyone for subscribing we're gonna have a live stream celebration um i didn't expect actually to get to twenty thousand this quickly so i'm a little bit un underprepared because i wanted to um do a live stream as close to to passing the number but anyway we've already passed it so we're gonna have some giveaways we're gonna have an awful lot of fun, so keep an eye out on the channel. Never thought that I'd get anywhere near 20,000 subscribers when I started doing the YouTube channel. I just, I like doing videos just showing how fun, uh, how fun ham radio is. All right, let's go and hide it. Um, where are we gonna put it? Put it somewhere along here, I reckon. Somewhere challenging. If we hide it down, then it's even better, I reckon. Um, yeah, I reckon we can. I reckon we can hide it down in here. Turn it on. Always a good idea to chain it or something so that it doesn't go walk about. Now we'll test it. One, four, five, three, zero, zero. And if I send a seven, it should. ID. Okay, this is VK7HH. Your fox has been hidden. The frequency that you want to be listening for is 145.300. 145.300. And it should trans start transmitting in the next minute or so. So uh, good luck finding the fox. This is VK7HH. The fox is now active, I can confirm on 145.300, 145.300. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that the fox will transmit 
once every minute for around about 20 seconds. Once every minute for about 20 seconds. So good luck. <laughs> Fancy seeing you guys here. Oh! <laughs> we, um, did you use the clues or did you... No, we were on our way. We're You're on, on your way? way? Yeah. Oh, so you took some bearings as well, did you? Or? Yeah, we, uh, yes. we did some yeah. cross reps. Um, so, um, uh, Ron's really good at this. And we went, <laughs> okay, we're going down that way and that way. And we went to here and took another bearing. And then came yeah. down here. And then when you say, so I say, oh, okay, well, let's go to the kangaroo point. We'll get a little bearing from there. And you say kangaroo, and we're like, yes. <laughs> so you're already on the yeah. way, yeah. yeah. So the clue did help, but yeah. Yes. So whereabouts did you go first? You went to the regatta grounds and... Yeah, just, well, to, get, just to get a, another bearing. A good bearing, yeah. yeah. We're almost on top of it. They got no idea where it is. <laughs> Run, runs over there. And Lee's over there. I think there's a couple more that are now on the way because I've given out a couple more clues. Run, runs, runs getting, he's getting close. So it's, it's just hidden down over. It's just hidden down behind that, uh, behind that railing. So they've, Lee's gone down and he's walked, he's walked down here. If you actually. To go down here so this this is a um, this is kangaroo bluff battery historic site so you can go down in here and you can view the the ruins and the um the uh, the cannons and stuff there's a uh, oh, seaplane Lee's well, walking around with the uh with the tin with with the radio in the tin he knows that he's close he's walking around with the radio in the tin so he's listening ron's got the directional antenna i think someone else has now just turned up Yep, so we've got another another one. So they're all they're all getting pretty close there. I've got a really strong signal up there, but I can't find it there, which made me think it could be over here. Mm-hmm. But I'm not putting it in for a while now. Hopefully they can find it. They gotta be it kind of blends in a little bit with the um with the railing. So anyway. See how they go. The challenge is is because it transmits only every minute and it only transmits for 20 seconds you basically got to be prepared get a quick bearing draw a bearing down and then go out and f and then you know take several bearings and then sort of intersect them so anyway we'll see how they go uh, i think angela's just found it she's just seen it well the fox got found had to give out a couple of clues but i think uh, everyone all had had fun um i'm just saying that um, a couple of the teams they did uh, some bearings and then uh, got confused and had to go back the way they came which was quite funny but um, anyway I think everyone all had fun so yeah just uh, just get involved build a uh, little Fox transmitter really easy um, just yeah check out my video or check out Charlie NJ7V from Red Summit RF he did a build video on the on the Fox uh, tracker that I built the Fox transmitter sorry that I built and uh, just build one for your club. You don't need many people to, to have fun. Like today, I think we had maybe, we had about six or seven of us, maybe eight of us, and uh, and we managed to, to be able to find it. So, um, you know, it's it's real good fun. And we, we threw in some prizes as well to get people motivated. That's always a good thing. So if you're a, if you run a club or you're on the committee of a club, prizes always get people over the line to, uh, um, so first, first was Tony and Angela. So you get the choice of a fifty-dollar J card gift card, KN four AC KN fed halfwave antenna, a K six AR KN fed halfwave antenna, or a one fifty amp uh, power analyzer. Second prize was Ron, who found the fox after much frustration. You go for the antenna. Oh, Lee. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for the uh, the gift card if that's all right. You go for the gift card. Very good. Well done. Can thank I say a big, time? Yeah. a big thanks to Hayden for organising it. It's been fantastic. Okay. And, yeah. and Justin. And Justin. <laughs> so this was running one watt into that antenna, which it was it was fairly low down. So it was located at Kangaroo Bluff historic okay. site, and 
I put it down fairly low so that it would be not too strong, but it still is pretty strong when you get there. So I reckon what we'll do next time is, is that runs a watt, we'll probably pair it right next to the micro fox so that, that way when you get there, you can switch frequencies and then it's a lot easier to find the, the micro fox, I reckon. Right, because yeah. I think Ron found that looking around, like you, you were getting strong signals everywhere, weren't you, yeah. really? So. Yeah. If you're uh, interested in the Fox transmitter that uh, was that was used, then we used two. In the QRP Fox Hunt, we used a Bionics, I think they're called a micro transmitter. So you can get those from bionics.com. They're in like a little um, camera film, film canister. Fox that I used was built off an Arduino and a Baofeng, and I'll put a link up here in the cards. Um, if you want to check that out or at the end of the video. Uh, there's also a link in the description too. It's definitely a real... Oh, tripping over twigs.